Okay, let's let's have a prayer. Father in heaven, thank you for this day and for this time for class. Please help me to teach. Help us to understand. In Jesus' name. Okay, we're talking about nutrition today. Nutrition is the study of food, what we eat. This is going to be part one. Oh, the green can look high. I don't have. Here's a black one for now. So you find the green one. Maybe the green one is elsewhere. You can just use. There once was a man named Jim. And Jim was a famous runner. Jim. Jim Fix was his name. Uh, he ran every single day. And you know how far he ran? He ran 10 miles every day. Which is 16 kilometers. How many of you have ever run 16 kilometers? I have run 10, I have run 16 kilometers. It's very long. I had some friends recently who ran 26 miles. And they ran all night. But someone asked Jim, Why do you run so much? It wasn't just because he loved running. It was also because he loved food. He said, if I if I run, then I can eat whatever I want to eat. In other words, I can eat eggs, meat, lots of oil, sugary foods, and I don't get fat because I run. So I'm healthy. I've heard people say this. I'm healthy. I work hard every day. I smoke. But I, I'm not going to die because I work hard every day. And I get lots of exercise. Do you know what happened to Jim Fix? He died of a heart attack. Jim Fix had hydrogen um, maragasin. A heart attack while he was running. At the heart attack, was he jogging to the door at the school? This surprises most people. Hey, the manuske, um, Ashraj Jani to kar. Ah, no. Maybe there's like a black. Oh, <laughs> it's a little black. Where is black? Motion and color is in it. It's right in the middle. This one you wipe board with. That's true. That's my face. The toilet. I'll give you the clean side of it. Hey, Kalo. Kalo, Kalo, Ami Potonona. Shabush Kolom, Ami Potona Kori. Neil Kolom, Ami Potona Kori. And a Kolom, na? You are you are clean now. But this is better. Jim Fix died of a heart attack. Jim Fix heart attack When you think of people who run and exercise a lot, you think they have a healthy heart. But the problem was, even though he could run a long ways, he was eating lots of unhealthy food.
That's why nutrition is important. Even if you do exercise a lot, even if you do drink a lot of water, even if you get plenty of sleep, if you don't take care of what you put inside, you won't have perfect circulation. And if you don't have perfect circulation, you can't have perfect health. And so what we eat is how our bodies make blood. If we want to have healthy blood, we want to have healthy food. So, this morning we're going to talk about some unhealthy foods and why they're unhealthy. I'm going to start with sugar. Sugar is not a bad thing. It contains glucose. Glucose is something you need for your brain. Without it, you die. But God made a way for us to get glucose. Where do we get our glucose from naturally? What sweet foods do we find in nature? Yeah, sweet fruits contain glucose. But the problem with sugar is, even though it has glucose, it also is refined. That means, re refined, refined means that they take out, they isolate. Yeah, it's purified. Uh, it's it's made alone from all the other good nutrients. Only sweet and no nutrients. Also, fruit has fiber in it. We'll talk more about this stuff later. Sugar is not a bad thing. But you don't want to eat too much of it. I can talk about lots of reasons why this is the case. But sugar weakens the immune system. When you eat sugar by itself, or in pastries, remember those lymphocytes? Lymphocytes become weaker. That's the opposite when you eat fruit. Because fruit actually makes your immune system stronger. So that's sugar. Sugar is also addictive, which is why some people love eating desserts all the time. I personally really like sugar. So I have to be, I have to be careful not to eat too much of it. I want to also talk a little about cholesterol. Because cholesterol and sugar often go together. They did a scientific study. 
where they fed them um, cholesterol that was old cholesterol. The old, the, the first time they had the cholesterol sitting in a bucket that was closed so they couldn't get any oxygen. The second time, the bucket was left open. Not for long, but enough for oxygen to get inside. And this cholesterol became what's called oxidized cholesterol. They fed this cholesterol to the monkeys. And within a few hours, they were dead. Different monkeys, different types of cholesterol. This is type 1, regular cholesterol. cholesterol so cholesterol is bad to eat. But oxidized cholesterol is even worse. And so, two things we learned from this. Don't eat old foods. Fresh is better. Especially when it's milk or meat or eggs. And, by the way, let me let me share one thing. Cows. Baby cows. They drink milk. And it's perfectly healthy for them. Baby humans also drink milk. And it's perfectly healthy for them. So there's a time when cholesterol is good. But I was watching the, the cow yesterday while he was drinking milk. And you notice that the baby cow drinks right from the mother. You know, let's draw a cow here. I don't know how to draw a cow very well, but you know, here's a cow, and you have the udder here, right? And the baby cow will drink right from here. Question for you. Does that milk have any time to touch the air? No. Zero. That means that it's got no oxidization. There's it's no oxygen. It's just cholesterol. Of course, when it's in milk, it's mixed with a lot of other really good things like protein and calcium. You have cholesterol in milk, but it's not by itself. Are you following or are you confused? Okay, don't worry. Milk is healthy for babies, even though it has cholesterol. But when you drink milk, like now. If you drink milk straight from the nipple or from the udders, what do you call this thing? 
ban. Yeah, when you drink straight from the ban. I hope you don't drink straight from the ban. Uh, but the, the baby cow drinks straight from that. There's no oxygen. And so that cholesterol is called non oxidized cholesterol. Let me put this together now. When you mix milk, eggs, sugar, and flour, what do you get? Cake. Cake. Now, when you mix sugar and cholesterol, guess what happens? <laughs> You're not going to die right away. I understood what you said. The result, or it equals oxidized cholesterol. তখন <laughs> we will also die. We will also die, yes. But when we're eating foods, they're not pure cholesterol. when we're eating foods, they're not pure cholesterol. They're, they're mixed together. Now, I'm going to read two statements from the Spirit of Prophecy. Because science didn't know this until recently. That eating cholesterol and that mixing cholesterol with sugar makes it extremely dangerous. This is from Councils on Diet and Foods. She says that it's especially harmful the desserts where milk, eggs, and sugar are used together. She, she says that milk and sugar used in large portions together should be avoided. Milk and sugar used in large portions together should be avoided. Sugar, milk and sugar. So, what does this mean? Sugar is not a bad thing. When you mix sugar with cholesterol, egg whites and milk it's very unhealthy and we need to be careful at be well because we talk a lot about how bad meat is for us but 
also in this book, she says it's better to eat meat than lots of sugary foods. So that means if you're gonna, if you will, that means if you say, oh, you're a terrible Seventh Day Adventist because you eat meat all the time. But I am eating lots of sugary foods. I will probably die first. I am doing the worst thing to my body. I should switch and eat meat instead. Of course, the best thing to do is don't eat meat. And if you're going to have sugar, eat it, but not too much. One last statement, then your question. Just so uh, it's balanced here. On the same page, page 333. Plain, simple pie may serve as a dessert. But when one or but when when two or three pieces are eaten, you make yourself unfit. That means not well for the service of God. If we eat two or three pieces or more more of those two pieces. If you eat two or three or more, then you're then it's unhealthy. So what's the point? Sweets are not a bad thing. Sugar is not a bad thing. We can make really yummy things, but we don't have to mix sugar and milk and eggs together. But even when we do that, let's just take a little bit. And the other thing is, fruit, it's, fruit is the perfect food. You can eat as much fruit as you like. As long as you're not overfilling your stomach. You had a question. Is it good or bad for us? The sugar by itself? It's not sugar. It's like the... Sugar come from this juice. Yeah, molasses is fine. Good, Because it doesn't have any cholesterol in it. So it's not, it's not going to go bad. In fact, sugar by itself, it preserves things. That's why those jellies, they don't go bad. Because it's mostly sugar. Sugar has no cholesterol. Because where does sugar come from? Does it come from meat? No. Does it come from eggs? No. Sugar comes from sugar cane, which is a plant. And plants have zero cholesterol. That makes sense? 
You can eat that, that sugar cane. It's got a lot of good things in it. You still don't want to eat too much because it actually can... My mom got many cavities because she ate too much uh, sugar cane. She was addicted to sugar cane. She was, she's from the Philippines. They grow lots of sugar cane there. And she would eat this every day. She had at least four cavities in her mouth. Okay, so that's cholesterol and oxidation. Good. Okay, um, let me talk about oil. We have some time. I'm going to take a picture of this. Oh yeah. I, I didn't. Okay. Oil. Why is oil? Uh, what What do we need to know about oil? If it's vegetable oil, it has no cholesterol. Come in. But it's still very high calorie. That's why if we have too much oil. That's why if we have too much oil, it gets lots of fat, and it doesn't make you feel full. It tastes really good, but it doesn't make you feel full. Fruits and vegetables make you feel full. Uh, and so do greens. And so grains as well. Fruits, vegetables, and greens. Grains make you feel full. Oh, fall, tarpore, shakshobji, ebong shosho, tomar pet bhorai. I'll give an example in a moment. Once you finish writing. Any questions? So when they refined the sugar, what is it getting at? Um, sometimes they add chemicals. Chemicals. I don't know what chemicals. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the spirit of prophecy doesn't say sugar is bad. Even refined sugar is not bad. It's just easy to eat way too much.
Okay, let's talk about, I'm actually going to finish this topic here. You understand cholesterol now. We talk a lot about cholesterol. We talk about how the body makes what you need. You don't need to get it from your food. You don't need to eat cholesterol. You make the cholesterol in your body. And the body makes just as much as it needs and no more. But what if you have eaten a lot of cholesterol? How do you clean your blood vessels? How do you clean your body? I'm going to teach you about one ingredient. Fiber. Fiber is powerful stuff. Fiber helps remove cholesterol. When you have cholesterol in your body, and you eat lots of fiber, that fiber will latch on to the cholesterol. And it latches on to the bad cholesterol too. Fiber latches to bad cholesterol. For, for a while, I only eat a few eggs. I eat some eggs too. Yeah. For cakes, that oxidized cholesterol is really bad. I wouldn't say you're fine. I would I would never mix sugar and cholesterol. Almond milk doesn't have any cholesterol. Better. There, there you go. You can cheat. You can cheat. Then you can have your sweets. Still not too much. So, fiber latches onto cholesterol. I'll give you space to write this one. So, uh, sing then, come forward. I'm going to be some evil fiber here. I'm I'm an evil cholesterol. Do I look evil? No. I don't look evil. You have to be you need uh, yeah, evil like, mustache. Okay, you like have a demon evil, evil mustache. Like a thief. Here. <laughs> you can draw. This will help you remember. I want you to remember this lesson. Okay. Maybe this is a bad idea. That stuff smells so bad. Hey, some of their kajal No, do it in the green one. This one stinks so much. Here, 
Okay, you can you can draw a green. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, I'm Wait. evil cholesterol. Hold on. I did. Oh, it's a kind of cholesterol. Okay, so I'm in your body. I'm your only only mother day. And you want me out. I want to be child. Then I'm bad. You need to get some fiber. The mother fiber project. This man is fiber. Okay. Yes, single man. I just say fiber. So fiber comes in. Single man, bhalo fiber ashe. And he tackles me. Ar dhore. Catch karva. He's dhorva. No, like really, really latch on. Like, like hug me from behind. You know? Is this how you attack somebody? What kind of? Yeah, you should be like really aggressive. You know? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's it. And then you you take me out. So you just you just walk walk me away. And where do we go? We go out in the. Hoop. Yeah, to the rectum. And then no more evil, no more evil, no more evil uh, cholesterol. Now, can I wash my face? Will this wash off? This is ridiculous. Is it going? Mm. Better. Better now? Okay. So cholesterol. Cholesterol. It's evil when you have the there okay. There are two types of cholesterol. This is another other thing you need to know. Two types of cholesterol. HDL. HDL and LDL. LDL. HDL. HDL is the good. Bhalota. And the LDL is the bad. LDL is the The fiber latches to the bad cholesterol. And with fiber, ba ash, kare ki khara cholesterol ke dhore pade. Then takes it to the rectum. Tar pare mol dali niye jai. High density lipoprotein, low density lipoprotein. Low density lipoprotein. HDL means high density lipoprotein. Say it. Do you know what density means? No, don't worry. HDL is good, LDL is bad. HDL money high density high density high density high density lipo oh density D A N S I T Y lipo protein and then L is for low density lipo High means utro. Density means how much crowded something is. Remember we talked about density the other day? Yeah. Density means con density means concentration. Lipoprotein is a type of fat. LDL low. LDL no. I don't know. I don't know. I High density lipoprotein. But density means concentration. But how many corona numbers are there? I don't know. Density means how many. 
I will not ask you quiz questions on this. The only thing you need to know is that HDL is the good and LDL is the bad. HDL is good and LDL is bad. Okay. HDL and LDL is good and bad. Okay. HDL, cholesterol. You need HDL cholesterol for your body. It's it's good thing. The body uses it to make good blood. HDL cholesterol tomar bhalo thing for blood. Yes, HDL. You need some of it to make blood. Tomar oh, rakto toiri korte eta tomar ekটু proyojon ache HDL. You don't need a lot of it. Tomar beshi lagbe na. That's why your body makes your body makes its cholesterol. The LDL cholesterol is the one that makes your blood vessels smaller and smaller and smaller because it clogs them. That gives you high blood pressure, stroke, heart attack. LDL there's more we could talk about, but it's too much for this course. It's too much for this class. And I would have to review to fully answer that question. I do not know all the reasons why HDL is good and LDL is bad. But I know that pharmacists in Bangladesh have heard of LDL and HDL. When I was in Dhaka, coming back from Kolkata, I was on a rickshaw with two people. One of them was a pharmacist, and we started talking about health. I was telling him about Be Well and what we do, and also telling him about uh, diet and exercise. And I told him about fiber. And he already knew this stuff about HDL and LDL cholesterol. And together we were looking for red rice. Because he knows that red rice has more fiber. More fiber means less LDL or bad cholesterol. And as I was buying some rice, he said, maybe I should buy some too. So I bought 15 kgs, and he bought 10. And we both walked out with our rice together. And I have that guy's phone number. Maybe we'll connect with him sometime. Really nice guy. But people know about HDL and LDL. And that's why I want you to understand it. Because then you can explain that meat and eggs and milk and sugar, they all work together. You can explain how cholesterol and all these parts work together. Do you have any questions about anything we've learned this morning? Okay, then we will pray because we have no more time. Father in heaven, 
We thank you for giving us such wonderful instruction. Pray that you would help us to make good decisions. Help us to reach people's hearts through this message. We pray this thing in Jesus' name. Amen.